Hello, I'm back, we're back, and today um, I'm going to continue working in my MSX uh, game, my current MSX project, uh, which is uh, which is in Gamma, which is a shooter, and um, what I'm going to try to implement today is something I have never uh, done before, which is a demo mode. Um, um, and I'm not completely sure if this is going to end in the game. This is just an experiment. I don't, um, I think it could work, but I haven't really planned this too much. So this is going to be one of those sessions where I try something and it may work and it may not, uh, I don't know. Um, so the basic idea is that um, uh, what, I, what I would like to uh, emulate in a way is the attract mode that um, you know the arcade machines had in the past um, so basically um, this is the current um, menu of the game without music uh, uh, it doesn't have music for now but eventually I will add music uh, to the menu I hope and basically it doesn't do anything I mean you can press fire and then you can start playing the game and which is fine but you know, it's just a static menu. So what I wanted to do is with that uh, demo mode is that, you know, after some seconds without um, you doing nothing, you know, just listening to the music, um, we could start automatically a, a demo, which is basically, you know, a recorded uh, game where you can see uh, probably me oh, uh, playing the game. Um, and um, yeah, I think that could be nice. And also it could be useful to show, um, it's not a tutorial really, it's not really a tutorial, but it could be useful to show a little bit some of the mechanics. Um, for example, how the chains work uh, when you kill the enemies. I think that could be nice, could be useful. Um, so let's get started. So. The idea basically is um, is uh, I'm going to have some I'm going to use a define here like we do for debugging stuff that is going to be uh, record for example and then. We can do, for example, so this is the stuff that is, so this is the memory that is allocated in main, if it's, yeah, I, I think I explained this before, uh, but basically what I do is I use a define variable to tell the compiler where I want that memory to be allocated. In this case, this is part of the main module, so. Um, if we are in the main module, which is basically if local was defined because it's the else of not being defined, then if there is record, uh, we're going to say, uh, how do we call this? Uh, <laughs> record maybe. And we're going to set the limit, uh, for example. This is because um, I don't want the code to record the, the, the game to be in the final game and actually I think we're going to compile the game with this variable set here and what is going to happen is that, is that we are going to um, yeah, I think I'm going to put this in a different place. So what, I, what what is going to happen is that we're going to basically uh, play enough to fill this record uh, memory address and then stop the game. So you're not going to play with this. It's just for us to get that data. Um, uh, we're going to use OpenMSX uh, to dump the memory while we're recording uh, that data and that data is going to be the what we read from the control for the controls basically so the idea is that i'm going to start the game then i'm going to play and we're going to get a sample of 
the the controls every you know well, in this case uh, we're going to try with NNTSC although it will work with PAL just the same so we update the, the game loop uh, once every 30 hertz so it's 30 times per second so basically we we're going to collect those samples store them in here and then when we feel when we when this this uh, memory is full we're going to store the, the game and then we're going to use uh, OpenMSX to dump that information to disk then we will remove that this define here so the record functionality is not in the binary anymore and then we can include that uh, that memory where we recorded the 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 control input output sorry um, so we can use that to play back um, when we execute the demo um, so I'm going to put here this here with uh, local although I think I'm going to put this in main I think but it's better like this and and the limit is going to be for example I don't know so um, so we have I mean with the current binary without touching anything we have a, about 800 bytes um, we, you know, we are going to use RAM here to record the, the, the this demo. But then when we play back, we're going to play from ROM, and from in ROM we still have 13K. So, but I but I don't want to use a lot, and I don't want to get it complicated. Although it could be easy to do some run length encoding and compress this. But for now, it's, this is just a test. Um. So what I'm going to do is. Let's say, let's try, for example, 20 seconds. 20 seconds will be 300 samples. Sounds OK. Um, yeah. And then I need to, I'm going to need a 16-bit counter. So. Uh, so this is going to be we're going to call this uh, core pointer or count so that so yeah because we need to increment this and we, when we get to the limit we're going to stop the game right okay so this looks okay and then let's go to main and yeah when we run the game basically this is the game loop which is basically we're going to read the case here we are not going to do anything with that uh, because the read controller here is doing everything for us and if we look at the documentation in now, this is something I should release soon anyway. So is real, real control. So this one returns a byte. So and it has everything we need. So up, down, left, right, fire one and fire two. So we can do you know it will record all the functionality uh, of you know everything we do with the with the game. Um, so basically, in here, we can put it just in here. Uh, if we are recording, then what we're going to do is, um, first of all, we're going to initialize here the record counter to zero. So, ah. Uh, Record count is zero. And then what we're going to do is record. We don't really need to worry about performance here. 
I think because we just recording so if we use a little bit of CPU to do this stuff in here it really doesn't matter so if record count equals oh record limit then basically we done and that should be all <laughs> so with these we should be able to record 20 seconds in uh, NTSC and we still have some memory to add more but I think 300 bytes no that's 10 seconds sorry that's 10 seconds so let's do actually 20 seconds how long is 20 seconds is that enough well, we can try and see how long it is. Uh, I mean, we probably can get 200 seconds more, 200 samples more. Um, so let's see. So th this should be all. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we need to uh, in the world is where I put in things. Let's take a look to the memory map that the linker is generating because we need to find the memory address of record which is this one because we need to dump 600 bytes starting from this memory address is that correct yes so let's try so we start that So this is the version that is doing the recording. So if I if I start playing right now, it should store things and it should stop the game after the number of seconds. So whatever we do here, it's going to be like that. I mean, we can be killed and everything. Yeah, for example, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. I mean, as long as we don't change. Um, well, I probably need to last 20 seconds. It's not a lot. That was 20 seconds. That was not a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, 20 seconds is 20 seconds, but I don't know. I mean, the, the complete game, the complete level is 3 minutes and something. So, oh, I didn't do the dump. Let's start again. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, let's see if I can get the chain, for example, that would be nice, right? No, I failed completely. So it, it would be nice to have a chain. Ooh, so close, but I didn't. Oh, well, let's overwrite. Yeah, because fire is actually... Yeah, I got the chain. Excellent. So, we could be using this one. Well, not really. But... <laughs> That's enough. Right. So... I think I have the command here from previous, the previous test. So, we're going to call it... record bin and then so basically what it does here is we do the command is I'm not sure if this is going to be readable really sorry about that but basically the command that we're trying to run here is um, yeah it's a little bit tiny the font sorry so it says save, save to file then the name of the file that we want to save and then uh, with uh, square brackets we say uh, we want to debug read block of memory which is main RAM starting from we said it was I have it here so record is C872 C872 assuming that this one is accepting hex yeah it does right 
and is 600 bytes. With this, then we can close and then so let's see what we have here. It should be in, in source uh, record bin. Okay, so this is me playing the game, and by the looks of it, this could be easily compressed. And there's a mosquito over there. Hmm, I will kill it later. But now let's look at this. Um, right, so this could be compressed quite quite a lot, but let's. Don't pay attention to that for now. Okay, so we have record bin. Mm. Right, so let's do something quick, which is going to be uh, in tools here. I think I have something, yeah, binary to include. How does it work? Okay, so the file is record bin and let's call it demo. Right, so this here is, okay, so, so this should be the demo. Yeah, this can be compressed quite a lot. So I think I'm going to use compression, but for now, let's keep going. So now if I remove that, we're going back to, to the memory we had, so we're not using that this for anything now, right? So, so dev local then blah, blah blah. Okay, so we're going to include the demo in main. So this is not undefining local, right? So, okay, so what I'm going to do is include the demo here. And actually, this could be compressed twice anyway. So, include the demo. Then we're going to have a variable here that is going to be demo. We're going to increase this because we're going to initialize that to zero. Um, I don't think I mentioned that in a, in a previous session um, that if you need to initialize a lot of variables to zero it's better that you put in oh uh, you put them in memory um, in one row so you can use memset okay just like that so it's not a dirty hard so 13 bytes in green has score now. It's set to zero. Right, so we have demo. And da, 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 da. we're going to need a counter in the menu to see when we start with the demo. And now we can just uh, have a variable, I guess. just something terrible like this we can prove that later so and then oh dear call that demo counter so okay if the demo counter equals uh, something like that we're going to wait a lot. No, maybe not. No, it's not that much. Because this is now it's going to be okay. So demo demo is equal to one. And then or demo. And here we can see zero. Something like this. It's not pretty, but Right, so going back here, 
So we're going to do if demo then control is going to be record count no record no demo okay so there is something here that we need to do differently uh, let's do this And then if uh, limit then break then we can say here yeah, demo counter is zero demo is zero and then break and we exit so we don't need to do this and demo the counter we can go to main here and um, record limit it has to be always available uh, like here for example and we got a little comment this is the, the length of the demo and then we need here how we got how do you call that demo count All right and then we add two more here because we want that to be initialized to zero and then we go to main and now this is 16 bits so we can wait longer if we want so we set demo demo to one And then and demo counter to zero because that's the counter we're going to use in here, right? So we read that value the control and da da da, da and this limit zero da, and we break. This looks like it may even work. No, because it doesn't compile. Uh, all right, I know what it is. It's because we call demo just quick and dirty. Because it's very likely that I need to regenerate this again anyway. So, and it's not demo, it's demo data. So this is the kind of stuff that you're watching the video and you definitely see what I'm doing wrong. But when I'm writing here, I don't see that. Right. So now we can. Oh. No. There's something we is completely broken. Why is that? Why is do, 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 do. Oh, there's something wrong here because demo is one. Why demo is one? It's because we just got to 128. That's too quick, isn't it? Maybe. Don't know. Um, no. So what is demo? Let's go to demo. So this is demo one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then four more. Four more. That's fifteen. And we setting all that stuff to zero. No, that's not how it works. No, this is wrong. This is what we set to zero every time we run. So this this was uh, how was that? Was twelve? Oh, we 
can do is and take a look quickly. So that was 12. Okay. Okay, so this is the right file, so it's 12. And then demo count is also going away. And we can put it somewhere like Yeah, so it was demo and demo counter. I have the feeling that I'm not using this anywhere. Before I forget, let's take a look. Oh, are you using that anyway? No, I'm not using this for anything. It's gone now. Yeah, that's because I plan to do something. See, I plan to do something different. Do I really need to do this? Damn, I will put it back if I need that. I don't think I need that. Because my user is just a player. It's it's different. That's I, I plan to do I plan to okay, forget about that. You didn't see anything. Right. So now here before getting to the right place, then, then we need to initialize this. Right. Do we need to do it here? And we need to do it every time we get here. So it means that we, when we get out from this from run game here and the demo is over, we don't care about this. It's just returned. Okay. Let's see now. So we wait a little bit. Well, actually, we can try to see that it doesn't affect anything else. So this is me controlling it now. Get out. And then we wait. No, yeah, it's not moving. Hmm. Oh, because I'm stupid. Yeah. I'm glad that was not a lion or something. Okay, right. Let's see now. Yeah, that was me playing the game. Excellent. Yeah, and me being killed. It works just fine. It's a little bit short for a demo. Let's switch it again. Oh! <laughs> it's out of sync now. What? Why is that? What is interesting, it looks like it's a different demo, right? No, there's something wrong in there. There is something wrong. So we break when is the record limit. So it means that we exit here and then it goes back to here and it goes to the draw menu, demo and demo count is back to zero. I don't know, I don't know. This is what quite weird. Yeah, there's something funny. I need to find out. Oh, before that, before I forget, uh, there's something we probably want to put here. We want to, uh, when we draw the hut, 
and not this one when we draw the hot background if it's demo we want to put that it's demo it's a demo right so demo mode um, because I don't have any so ooh so let's do this this is going to be mosquito is still there it's going to be 11 okay so that will print demo mode when it's running the demo let's take a quick look to see why this didn't do what I was expecting it to do because we start the link we run the game there is no control then we go to here we set the demo to zero demo to zero demo counter to zero and this is start counting again why did that it was out of sync right it was like Right, so we start. Yeah, I just realized demo mode should be on that line, should be down. Okay, so that looks okay. But now when it starts again. Is that's that's not what happened, right? Oh, I see what it is. That is another thing we need to save. We need to save. Yeah, see, this is a problem. Haha, -ha. every time I start the game, I change the seed. And the seed is basically uh, it's being, it's going to be used to generate the random numbers. Um, so the first time we run the game, uh, well, but the, I think it's going to be this. Because the enemies fire a different time, they could be firing at a different time because of the different seed. Anyway, let's fix the demo to put it one line down. And da -da -da -da. yeah, I think it's going to be the seed. Okay, so there's another thing we need to do. And it's basically the demo should work only if we are not recording. Just to not make a mess, right? So we can do this here. Like this. Doesn't look pretty, but so if we're recording then we do the recording and that would be there won't be a demo and equally here we don't really care about this but this is important so so we don't start the, the demo right Anyway, it doesn't matter. We don't, we don't want to set the demo. And now I need to think what I'm going to do with the seed. Well, there is a way of fixing this. Which is basically um, A 
let's just make it deterministic which is basically um, if we're recording then the seed is going to be this one and um, and it will run the demo otherwise we change it so it's different when the player plays every game I like that so so we're going to record again and the limit 600 as we're going to keep that for now then the demo stuff we're going to keep that so let's record another another game and just verify that what I'm saying makes sense but I think it's going to be that because if the enemies fire at a different time it means that oh this is just, oh, terrible 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 let's see Something like this, and the time is going to run out. No, ah, I think we okay. So that's another thing that we need to fix is when. Oh no, because it's, it's when it's recording only. It never happens when you're playing the game normally. Yeah, so basically, um, because we don't know our time, yeah, let's fix that because otherwise it's going to be a little bit pain. Uh, so, yeah, so if we're recording and, and the recording is finished. Here. Um, okay, we break, and then what we can do is do I have something like white or do I have a way of? Yeah, because we would like to, we we want to basically stop the game until we stop using the control, right? Um, so to avoid us leaving the game and then because we're pressing fire. So what we can do is here, so here, so because this is only one way of recording, right? So while while this is not equal to say while while this just like this, so that will wait until we stop pressing any key. Let's try that. done so we save this 
Um, do we know if it, it has changed? Um, you got my map. And we're looking for, no. So it's still C872. C872. Yes, it is. Well, we say that. And then what we did before is here. Yeah, but it's going to be demo data. Right. So this, I'm doing it by hand, but it could potentially automate that. But I need to record the session anyway, so it's not ideal, but I think this is pretty much done for now. So we clean out that and see if it works. And anyway, we're gonna start the game and then the seed is where it is. So the time where they shoot is different, see? And then we wait for the demo to kick in. Yeah. Demo. Well, this is basically. crappy <laughs> game I play. And it should play exactly the same now because we're using a fixed seed. Yeah, it looks it looks like the behavior of the enemies is exactly the same. But the only difference is when they shoot. Because these ones don't have any... This stage doesn't have any enemies with fan patterns. Now it's exactly the same. They're shooting exactly the same. So that's fixing the problem. Um, so I guess... Uh, this is done. I probably need to clean up a little bit. Then I need to say what I'm going to do with uh, the length of the demo because I mean 600 bytes is not a huge amount of data anyway so I can manage that just fine I think no it's demo but then looking at this is kind of wasteful because Look at this. I mean, this is this can be compressed quite, quite a lot. Mm -mm. Okay, so yeah, I can I can I can try some sort of um, run length and coding. I think now the problem is that the amount of memory we have to actually record is not a lot, so. I will have to do the the run length encoding in here, which is a little bit annoying. I prefer doing that with Python probably, instead of running that writing that in C to be run inside the MSX because this is running on the MSX. Um, so I don't know, but it looks to me like I mean, looking at tools, for example, if we look at. Uh, uh, for example, with UCL, if we do um, so it's 134 bytes. Now the problem with UCL is that I can't really uncompress on the fly uh, to play back this. But if I do run run time length, so run length encoding. I'm sure I can do that because that's basically what I'm doing with the map uh, of the stage. So yeah, okay. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I probably need to clean up a little bit some parts, but I think uh, it looks solid. 
I had never done this before, so <laughs> it works. <so> I'm happy, <laughs> and it wasn't too complicated, really. Um, so yeah, it's probably a matter of uh, compressing this. When I'm encoding it, um, I mean, given the amount of stuff that is repeated here, I think I can probably make it very simple, like store a, a number, uh, the number of times we repeat the next byte, and the coding that on the fly would be, yeah, encoding it would be easy uh, because. I don't add to the to that record buffer until the byte changes and when it changes I put two bytes one saying how many times I found the byte that repeats and then the byte that is being repeated um, in cases like here this is going to be bad because it would be two bytes to encode one byte um, although we can actually, um, let me see, so, right, yeah, okay, so it's using one, two, three, four, five, six, it's using six bytes, six bits, so I can use uh, the two bits I'm not using to signal uh, if I'm repeating or not. So yeah, it could be it could be compressed quite a lot. We may not need that. I mean, as long as I can record a little bit more than twenty seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing some measurement and see how how much I can encode, and just keeping it around six hundred bytes. Although, I mean, if I can get away with three hundred <laughs> and more time, obviously that would be better. Uh, because I still have ROM left um, with with most of the of the engine finished, but I still need to add graphics for new enemies, new stages and stuff. And I have twelve k left, which is, sounds like a lot, but it's not that much. So yeah, yeah, I need to look at that and code it anyway. Very successful, successful session. Um, I'm very happy with the result. Let's take a look to it one last time before wrapping up. Oh, one thing we didn't try, and I hope it's okay. We're going to play the demo in PAL. It should be the same. Uh, it just should be slower. Basically, the music is slow. Yeah, that's exactly the same playback. All the same, just a little bit slower. If I will and see. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. It was great. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, session. It's been very nice. Um, I think uh, I mean, reasonably straightforward and short for a change anyway. Um, so, you know, you like it, you can thumbs up. Um, remember that uh, you don't want to miss the next uh, session that you know what happened when it happens. Um, subscribe if you want and um, and that's all see you next time bye